what point did you, did you go back and watch that Minnesota game previously, or was it so far away? No, no, I, I mean, you know, always, because, you know, you can get, like, the matchups or, you know, and they're running a lot of the same, you know, I mean, they're, they're a little bit different, but they're, they're basically running the same offense and, for the most part, and playing the same defense that they did before. That was a game where you played really well for a half, and then the second half it fell Well, actually, we played well for 18 minutes. Yeah. We had 60, we had 63 with like 545 left in the second quarter, up like 17, and we went in 68-64 at halftime. And, um, you know, we shot ourselves in the foot there. That was the bigger problem, you know. Was, was, does Moe's work trying to be, be uh, engaged while he's injured? Did that start today at the shoot around? Well, he's not, he here? he's not here yet. He's, um, he, you know, he's still coming back. He had to have a procedure last night, so he's coming back from New York today. But, yeah, well, I mean, as soon as he feels better, you know, he's, um, you know, I talked to him a little bit last night. You know, I, he's, he's going to take a few days here to, um, you know, recoup and, you know, like that. And then, no, I think we have a good plan. We all met yesterday. Um, David Tenney, Becky Bonner, um, about all aspects of it. Talked to Mo about it. Um, so he understands, listen, it's not, it's not what you'd want, but, I mean, you know, what you have to do is have the best plan so that, you know, he can be a student of the NBA while he's still lifting and, continuing to gain weight and, and like that, and that's the only thing you can do. What was the procedure he had last night? I have no idea. <laughs> Rick Carlisle described this time of year like a circus. How would you describe it? Well, actually, Coach Hill had told me that, um, it's what I've been sharing with our guys, is that UB Brown used to say that, you know, like this last week before uh, the All-Star and then after, is, you know, where you can steal a couple games if you have the right attitude. It's, you know, look, the reality is they've all have their flights made and uh, hopefully they're for Friday morning, not Thursday night, you know. And um, guys have played, you know, we'll have played 59 games, you know. That part's a little bit different than it used to be too. But um, I thought we had, you know, we didn't, we you know, you watched the film the other night. We did a lot of good things. We played with really terrific effort we had 44 deflections um, they're good <laughs> and they played good you know and you know the two things that we did that you can't do though is um, I'll give you another UB Brown fouling the gates hustle you know and we fouled unnecessarily and it crushed us and then we had 18 turnovers against a team that lives off turnovers so um, we did a ton of good things against you know, an elite team that's playing at the top of their game, and we we're right there. So, if we can put that type of effort together with, you know, not giving as many possessions away, then we can finish strong here. The trade does come down on game day. What are you doing? How do you find out? And does it affect what you're doing leading up? Well, it would just depend on how big it was. I mean, David, I'm sure you remember. Uh, we had a shoot around here a few years ago where, right after shoot around, we had traded Richard, six of them, right? Uh, a bunch of them, yeah, the Suns. And it was a three team trade. And I remember we walked off the floor, and then Stan said, We got to meet. Mm. You know? And no, I mean, it was like five, I think five or six guys, right? It was two big trades Washington, Washington Phoenix. Phoenix. And so you never know. I mean, you never know. I mean, you just. Yeah, I mean, you try to be organized, and that's why we're lucky. These guys are such good players that, you know, you can actually take guys in a short period of time and get ready for one night. So if you've been around this for 19 years, does it seem like there's more movement now? It just seems like there's a lot of big names moving and, and picks moving. And I think that, to me, um, I'd say the biggest difference between 19 years ago is... You know, it appears to me that I know guys demanded trades back then, but I'd say the players are more involved in uh, deciding where they're going to play than they used to be, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that's the biggest difference.
apart from Mo, Mo, everybody was here. Is that correct? Uh, Moz is not here because he, he's getting his knee drained, Moz golf, but everybody else is here. Yep. Any status on whether Sims will be able to play tonight? He felt good yesterday, so we'll see. Good.